What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well. Today we'll be looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And as we can see yesterday, we actually did find support on the 20 EMA. If you remember the day before on this uh, candle, uh, once this had closed, I mean, I was essentially saying that um, I'd rather it have done something like this where you come into the EMAs, you show a rejection, which means you should put in a lower low, and then you we want to see it invalidated. So we were essentially saying, as long as we hold above this wick and this green line, we're gonna have another attempt at breaking above this uh, wick over here. And we went so and we went and did so. So we came up into it, we rejected it, and then broke it. That's what I would have preferred to see of the 20, although it is fine to do, uh, do what it did. It's just there's higher risk that potentially this could eventually become a bull trap and we'll get into uh, that into it in a bit more detail later on in the video but for now you've had a confirmation close above the 20 EMA I call this the continuation moving average so as long as we're above this now we should expect continuation but there could be some further answers on the lower time frames where this could be heading so what I would say is because you've held this as support and already for the first part of the day well since midnight you went down and now are going up so you've already tried to go down failed to do so and now you're heading back up so what we can say is that as long as we're above the 20 so as, as long as we you know as we did yesterday close the daily candle above it if we continue to do so if we're not seeing a loss of this then yeah expectation is we're going to come into the 55 ema now you can see as a few more days have gone by it's dragged down a bit below 18.1k so before it was lining up exactly suggesting okay once we get above the 20 we'll run into that but you can see now it's coming down a bit lower so the longer it takes to go up the more this uh, 55 EMA will drag down essentially. And yeah, it's acting as resistance. So what should happen is you run into it, reject it to continue lower. If you find a higher low, I'll let you guys know. And that'll be a signal to try and attack it again. But while we're coming up into it, the expectation is you made a lower low with this FTX capitulation, a, a lower low than 17.6K. Uh, We've tested it once as resistance with a daily candle close below it, well, exactly on it. However, we were above and we came up to this level. So we know if we ever get above this red line, you go to that red line. And uh, that's what the EMAs are saying anyway. So we're above the 20. So if we can get above 17.6, you're going to run into the 55, which is the previous low over here. So that's what we're expecting uh, going forward until we see a higher low forming somewhere. The expectation is a lower low as we have yet to invalidate any of these bearish targets lower to 13.7, 13.8k and 10.8k. These are the bearish uh, targets out of the head and shoulders over here as well as the descending triangle over here. And both of the necklines are 18.6k so as long as you're below it, 18.6 which is there then um, the expectation is you just come into it, retest it as resistance to go lower because we actually, have, we actually haven't tested that specific point as resistance. We have tested this, but we haven't tested that as resistance. So you can see retest of this and this as resistance, but you haven't gone higher to that point. So when you come into 18.6 in the future, then yeah, you, you know that will be at least in the short term, uh, somewhere where we will uh, um, reject essentially so we'll zoom into the lower time frames to understand this a bit better but what you should have understood so far and from the the weekly close we were saying at the beginning oh, sorry at the end of last week this is looking like a bullish hammer or bullish spinning top on friday last week we were saying so my expectations if we uh we run back into the red box for the next week or in two weeks time and so we've got that movement Go into the daily time frame, we're above the 20, holding it as support. So the expectation is now let's try and break above this wick. So the expectation now is we're going to go to this wick. Are we going to break it is the next question. If so, we're heading to the 55. If we lose the 20, we're going back down to this green line over here, or this resistance. Um, zooming in now to the four hour, actually, let's go to the... Well, yeah, let's let's go on the four hour time frame for now. And then if we have to go lower, we can. So this is our range, 17.6K. Look at those rejections on the four hour time frame. That's where that daily close closed exactly below it. So yeah, you can see there were three four hour periods where you were above. So for <clears throat> 12 hours over here, 
you were above this red line but before the fourth hour before we had the four hour close sorry you close back under this so true resistance and you can see wicks all the way up until 18.1 which was our support prior uh, yeah, support and going back again support over there so yeah we know yeah it's resistance we got a supply zone we've been talking about over the last few days between here and there so when we ever run into it again in the future this is an expected in the, at least in the short term a rejection from here but truly yeah it should make you uh, go lower because you're not seeing higher highs if you're failing to get above this you just have lower highs so you should get that lower low it's just it might form that higher low somewhere and that's if that happens i'll let you guys know it's not what should happen but if it happens i'll let you guys know so on the four hour we've seen this bullish cross but remembering it's just a bullish cross signaling. Okay, now we're above this high. We're going to continue back up to here. And you can see the 200 EMA, this downtrend and this red resistance, all signaling that when we get into this area, we're going to exhaust, essentially. The momentum is going to die. I'm not expecting it to pump through it. Amazing if it does so. We need to see it flipped into support. Until then, then until I see that, I'm expecting that drop. So uh, if we're going to put the fibs on the four hour from the low <clears throat> to the high over here, bounce off the golden pocket exactly and then from the bottom to up here we've got a golden pocket that are down here if we ever lose these emas we're coming back into the screen box which is essentially what we said anyway so that's where your, your higher low could be to then attack this only if i start seeing it i'll let you guys know it's not on my mind at the moment the thought is this is a push into resistance to continue lower because we have not yet invalidated these targets the invalidation point is when you break above this and flip it into support and yeah that's just the first step then you have to take out all those highs that we've set 21 22 and 20 well, 21 and 23k in between there um, now if we're zooming in a bit more let's go to the one hour yes yeah, got some sort of double bottom it looks like if you're ever losing the 55 it's going to start a capitulation back down to the 200 ema if that if this doesn't hold it's back down to 16.2 as we just saw with the fibonacci's but yeah you can see if i get rid of the uh, emas now it's, it's going up in a straight it's starting to go up almost in a straight line <clears throat> almost in a straight line so soon once it eventually tops out and we'll try and find that for you guys now so i'll measure from here uh, to the bottom and you see we're running into this golden pocket right now so the expectation what should happen push exhaust continue lower lose this we're coming back down to 16.2 okay but 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 if we break through this golden pocket and because this is such a low time frame the one hour time frame the stuff here that works so well on the daily time frame doesn't work as well on the one hour. So for example, on the daily, when we have specific candlesticks or specific chart patterns, they have more meaning than when they're on lower time frames. The higher the time frame, the more accurate it is because if we're on the one hour, there's 24 candles in a day. If we're on the daily, there's one candle in a day. There you go. It just puts all 24 one hour candles into one candle. So you don't have to get messed about because again, if you want to trade every single candle on the one hour, you have to go through 24 emotions, if you get what I mean. Whereas if you're just waiting for the daily candle close, the emotions you have during the day, you should know to control them because that's not the true move. The true move is at the daily candle close. That's why I tell you guys, wait for the daily candle close. If you close below support with the daily candle close, you're going down. If you close above resistance with the daily candle close, you're going up. It's all about the daily candle close, guys. If you want to do it on the smaller time frames, there's just much more risk. It's not going to pan out as much. That's all I'm trying to get out. <clears throat> so that's why there's a higher likelihood that you can create the reversal wave on the lower time frames. What should happen is this. So on the daily time frame, it's much more likely that you know the expected move is going to happen because it's a more accurate time frame. But on the lower uh, time frames where it's not as accurate, things that uh, not meant to happen can happen much more often because yeah more candles are printing it's happening much more often so of course there's going to be much more manipulation and so the 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 unexpected move which of course as we're on the lower time frame can happen at any moment just flip this into support you create the reversal wave back to the one once you're above that we're going to one of these three targets over here but when you meet targets usually reject them so 
where are your targets in that area of rejection? So even if we do have this final leg up, it's into key resistances. So yeah, eventually I am expecting a dump, but in the meantime, I've just shown you this potential path. It's not what should happen, but understanding on the lower time frames because it's not as accurate, it can, but the expected move is push, exhaust, continuation. You will bounce from here. We need to put another lower high and lower low to come back down into 16.2 something like this go back to the daily now and that's once uh that's with the failure if we fail to take out that high but remember the goal today is to try and take out that high over here so we can continue to the 55 the scenario i've just drawn out is if we're uh, yeah if that that um golden pocket holds and it pushes us below that daily 20 ema so if we get back those drawings you can see there you go. So the 20 daily emit is about 17K. So if we go back to the one hour time frame, that is about, yeah, over here, about 17K. So if we're losing this, coming back down to here, lose this, we're coming back down to here. <clears throat> and when we go to the daily time frame, we've been saying that we're now gonna try and break here, what would get in our way, that golden pocket we just drawn. And if that golden pocket pushes the daily candle close below the 20, we're going lower back down to here. As we said earlier in the video, without all this lower time frame shenanigans. But when we went to the lower time frame, we just proved it to you. So we didn't even need to go. It's just like further confirmation of what we just said. But yeah, you didn't need that. You can just guess that anyway from, yeah, on the daily time frame. I just prefer the daily time frame, guys. But again, as long as you're above this, the expectation is let's try and break this high. There's a golden pocket somewhere here, maybe not allowing us that might push us below to go down like this. If we push through that golden pocket and take out the high, we're continuing to the 55, but I still expect a continuation lower. So that's why I gave you those smaller fib levels, bullish targets. But remember, those bullish targets were only in this red box. So expect it to uh, continue lower. Please like this video, guys, if you've enjoyed it and found it very informative. Leave some comments down below if you learned something or you're just thankful that I'm here to guide you. Please send in a super thanks to the channel. It would be much appreciated, very motivating. And check out those channel memberships. We just hit nine members on the channel. Let's push for the 10th member. That would be amazing. I'm most likely going to start fan shows, maybe on the weekend or during next week i definitely want to do one might even get a surprise one later i doubt it but yeah uh, my mate's coming over at the <clears throat> from london and uh yeah we both went to school together and didn't go to the same uni but after leaving school we were both doing forex both doing crypto he did stocks i i dabbled in stocks i don't really like it too much fake market but um yeah yeah so while he's over, I might have a might have a live stream. Probably won't. Probably gonna have some beers and watch the World Cup. Can't <laughs> lie, but yeah, it, it's a nice thought though. But yeah, I definitely want to be doing fan shows. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Go over to my Twitter if you want to um, get the education. Just hit the link underneath this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.